it's what? Um, well, I think that my wife, she needs to be, uh, pretty good looking. She needs to, like, Going to the temple is pretty important. She needs to like go through that, and um, getting good ice cream is good. None of the bad stuff. None of the bad. Ice cream. And well, she needs to like to hang out, not at bars or anything. Hello? Alright, she has to look at the ponytails and be ready to go to the temple. Alright, let's go. things is she has to be kind. She has to be a good mother and be able to raise children. And she has to have a definite love for the church. And a little side thing is she has to cook really good. And that's about it. Okay. All right. In a wife, I want someone who's beautiful and can take care of the house in an orderly way so when I come home from work or something, it won't be a big mess. And she's got to be able to cook good, and she's got to be a lot of fun to hang out with. Tell me when. Go. OK. Um, what I want in wife is not only for her to be really, really pretty, but to 
be helpful, <laughs> not to have a big head, and um, <laughs> um, be a good mother. That's about it. Yeah. it. Go, go. Um, the girl that I'm looking forward to marrying is, <laughs> um, she's going to be good looking, and she's going to have uh, high moral standards, <laughs> and uh, she, uh, she, she needs to be able to cook. Not that I won't help cooking too, but um, no. cooking too. And uh, smelling nice, that's always a plus. And, um. Go. What I want in a life, hmm, let me think. I think I want, church-wise, they have to be spiritually uplifting. You have to have a good feeling when you're around them. And I definitely want someone that lived a good life as I've tried to live mine. And the better they live their life, I mean, the happier we'll be. And she's one of the main things I want, besides her being worthy and a good LDS girl, is I want someone that not to be like sexually biased or racist, not racist, um, prejudiced or whatever against women or being like a pig or something, but I want someone that can raise my kids the way that they should be raised and take care of them. I want somebody that will take, will help me have a good family and that's pretty, that's probably one of the biggest things is because I want someone that can, that can raise my raise my kids and help me raise them and do a good job in that and that's probably the two most important things to me that she can go to the temple and that she she'll be a good mother go um i want a wife that's going to be worthy to go to the temple and that can clean and cook and take care of kids and that's smart well <laughs> go i want an lds girl that's good with kids and likes to have fun and likes me and just wants to do things with her life. Okay, uh, what I want my future wife to be is she has to be uh, worthy to go to the temple. She has to be like my best friend. I can talk to her anytime. I can talk to her about anything. Um, I could, uh, we would have to be true to the church, you'd have to have a testimony. She would take care of the children, the kids, and we could do anything together. And that's about it. Go. Okay, first she has to be a worthy member of the church. <clears throat> a good example to others. She has to love me, and she has to laugh at all my jokes. <laughs> She has to take care of herself and others. <clears throat> she has to be able and well worthy to go to the temple and get married with me. And most importantly, she has to watch Dragon Ball Z with me. <laughs> the I want to marry has to be uh, good with kids, um, dress nice, um, get married in the temple, and she can't be snobby or mean to people. And she has to be... Um, Hot, unique like me, yes, and hot, I guess, and that's it. <laughs> All right, go. Okay, she, my future wife, has to be intelligent. She can't be a ditz, and she has to be loyal and support me in everything I do. And she has to be a good cook. Cook me wants good food, and she has to be really righteous and willing to stand up for what she believes. Go. Hmm? Go. All right. Um, I want a girl who's smart, that I can talk to, and that has the same values as I do. That we want to go to the temple, and I want a girl that. Hey, it's recording. <laughs> no. Okay, go. Go. Go! Okay, go. Is he on? Yeah.
Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> I want a girl. Don't marry me. In the temple. And have kids. With me. I guess uh, since I did go on a mission, the things that I want in a wife have changed a little bit. And uh, probably the biggest one is that uh, looks aren't the number one uh, deciding factor anymore. Um, they're still quite high on my list, but uh, they're not the first. Um, probably number one is, for me now, is honesty. I need a girl that's honest about everything. And uh, also, I'd like a girl that's. Uh, um, she's is strong, stronger than I am in the church, and also someone that doesn't get easily offended. And if I say something, something stupid to her, she could just like say, "Oh yeah, well you're fat," <laughs> something like that. I would appreciate that because at least I know that I offended her, and I could take care of it, and it wouldn't build and get worse and worse. And uh, she should be about five foot three. Blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> you found someone, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I meant to say the most important thing was that uh, she wanted a temple marriage and was uh, worthy to do that. Okay, what I'm looking for in a wife, um, there's lots of things. Of course, it's got to be pretty, got to be a good looking girl. But more importantly, she has to have a, a strong belief in the church and in Jesus Christ, strong conviction. So that, that can take care of kids and be a good wife for the rest of eternity, go to the temple, and that we'll be able to enjoy ourselves and not get divorced. <laughs> and that's go. <laughs> All right. Well, um, now that um, I'm a return missionary and. Uh, Well, girls, if you want to be my wife, uh, you're going to have to be pretty much perfect now. But um, I'm looking for a girl a lot like my mom, hard worker, just a real go-getter. Um, uh, she's a, just a real hard worker in the, in the church, willing to serve more than anything, a girl that can go to the temple, um, worthy, pure. Um, yes, we look uh, in that there's all kinds of different beauty that, that attract someone to, to someone else and uh, um, I mean I think now that um, I've uh, grown up a little uh, more than anything outer beauty inner beauty is, is probably one of the most important things so I hope that I can find me a girl that has the same goals that I do that to get married in the temple to, to raise a family bring them up in the church and uh, make it back to our Heavenly Father's presence more than anything that's what I'm looking for. Church and read the scriptures and the gospel. Yeah. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen, sisters. <clears throat> Look at that snog. <laughs> ah, ah. Snogs. Oh, you still see it coming. Dang, that's a good schnauz. Why don't you leave me alone? Does she like your nose? <laughs> this little guy. Gotta brush your nose. Ah! <laughs> this little <laughs> guy. You can't buy that. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> so, Chad, what do you want in a husband?
the kind of man I'm Gonna have tattoos. Amen. Look at those little guys. Oh. Little, little Goofy, and Mickey, and Minnie. Remember him? And that guy right there? Remember that little guy? And Tasha. Hey, Allison. We miss you, Allison. Mm. Mm, Sal. Mm, Al. Chase, do you miss Allison? No. <laughs> I don't like her real bad. You'll miss me though when we watch it, huh? Yeah. All gone. He misses you. <laughs> hey, you turn <laughs> that thing towards you. What thing? <laughs> Why don't you guys shut up? <laughs> don't look at me, please. <laughs> hey. You're an idiot. I can hear you. <laughs> I miss you a lot. 
Why don't you guys shut up? How bad, Jen? Real bad, right now. Man. Jeez, sorry, Allison. Jeez. It's, uh, it's Friday night. Man, I miss you. <laughs> Are you having fun in California? That's good. You remember this little guy right here? <laughs> that little guy right there. Yeah. Where'd he go? There is that little guy. <laughs> little guy. You guys. Alright, I better get all these guys there. Those guys right there. They won't leave me alone. Yeah, hi, how you doing? They won't leave me alone. Yeah. So I better go. See you later. <laughs> yeah, I'll <see. clears throat> so, um. the mirror. What's up? Hey. What's up? Huh? Hope you're having f having fun up there. Alright. Are you having fun? I'm proud of you. Can't wait till Wednesday. Wednesday's a good day. It's a good day. I'm proud of Wednesday. I'm proud of you. Well, see you Wednesday. Later.